We have come here today to celebrate the wedding of Caesar and Rachel. Caesar and Rachel. Today is a celebration. A celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it for forever. Now you don't have to have a ceremony to have a marriage. So why do we do it? We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this is one that is regarded as so critical, we acknowledge its special status by sharing it with others. Caesar and Rachel's love story began quite some time ago. Rachel was just a freshman in high school and Caesar was a senior. They met briefly in passing through friends in 2010 and would later connect two years later and begin writing their own love story. In preparing for this ceremony, I had asked Rachel and Caesar some questions separately about their relationship. One of those questions was, how did you know the other was the one? Rachel knew all the way back at that brief meeting in 2010, where her initial thoughts were, wow, I wish I could marry him. And Caesar's response, almost identical, saying that he knew Rachel was the one the moment he met her. Since that day, they have spent nine wonderful years together that have brought us here today. Ray, Caesar and I have been hanging out for literally a third of our lives, so basically forever. That means it took Caesar only nine long years <laughs> to marry my pretty, smart, funny, extremely prompt sister. Despite all of our differences, love is what we all share. No matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing, love is what we're doing right. When Ray started dating C's, I automatically connected with him. I mean, I met him the first time and I said, well, listen, if he's not your soulmate, he might be mine. So, I mean, I'll take him. <laughs> so, either or. But out of the eight or nine billion people in the world, Listen, C's deserves Ray, and that's for sure. Today is a time to pause, look back, and smile at all the moments that have brought them here. And a time to look ahead to all the moments that are still yet to come. Love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your own story. It's not one moment. Not even this moment, but it's every moment. Big ones like saying I love you for the first time, moving in together, getting engaged, but mostly a million little ones that come in between those big moments. You are 100%. <laughs> You've already been part of this family for a long time. You felt like a brother-in-law for literally years, but now it's finally official. Cheers to the beautiful couple. I love you guys, and I'm so excited to be able to stand by you your sides for this amazing journey. Even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. And we see it here, the two of you. When I asked Caesar what qualities made him fall in love with Rachel, he mentioned that he loves the way Rachel treats his family as if she's known them her whole life. And Rachel fell in love with Caesar's humor, trustworthiness, affection, and honesty. They are best friends, constantly giggling and teasing, and very plainly and obviously having fun together. That love and enjoyment of each other as best friends will sustain them through this marriage. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. These are you make a sure. <laughs> Nine and a half years in the making, and after a year delay, it is truly my honor and privilege to finally introduce, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Caesar and Rachel Lorraine.
just want to say I love the both of you. I got your back till the day I die. And uh, congratulations once again. Cheers to you both. And cheers to the new, you know, Mr. and Ms. Lorenko. So, you already know. I just want to say I love the both of you. I got your back till the day I die. And uh, congratulations once again. And if anyone is wondering like how attached I am, I literally bought the house across from theirs. So I have separation anxiety. I literally have separation anxiety from them too. So once again, cheers to you both. And cheers to the new, you know, Mr.